water is everything. The U.S. government estimates that by the year 2025, 40 of our 50 U.S. states will be experiencing some form of water scarcity. Already today, we have eight states in severe drought and several others that are in early drought stages. We are at the depth of the worst drought in California history. It's never been hotter or drier than it's been in these past four years. We have a number of the same challenges that Israel has worked on with regard to water. So Governor Brown and Prime Minister Netanyahu signed a memorandum of understanding between California and Israel. California's agricultural economy measures about $70 billion of economic activity each year. So we're extraordinarily sensitive to drought and how that affects jobs and planning for future crops in our state. You have to show the people here in California it is feasible to achieve the same crops, the same quality, with much less water. At over 17,000 acres, uh, Conaway Ranch is a substantial provider of farm products to feed the people of California and around the world. Lack of, of water has, has caused many farms to, to put acres into fallow. They're barely keeping some of the, the permanent crop trees alive, not just producing, but just keeping them alive. It's, it's a huge implication, not only on the farmer, but the consumer. My family and our partners, we feel really privileged to be partnering with the experts at Ben Gurion University and uh, our friends at Lumberg Farms and Netafim. Here in California, at the Conaway Range, I've been consulting the owners, trying to find adequate ways to improve and elevate water use efficiency. They grow rice, rice known to consume a lot of water, and since in California they face water scarcity, it is the right thing to do, is to look for more efficient way to grow rice having the same productivity. Netafim is an irrigation manufacturer that started back in 1965, originally in Israel. We decided to create this partnership to do a 42-acre plot where we are using subsurface drip irrigation rather than flood irrigation to see if we can grow more rice with less water. And our hope is that we find that it's very effective and that it can be used not just here at our ranch, but throughout California, the United States, and around the world. One of the good things coming out of all the water woes of the day is the fact that lots of really smart, forward-looking, entrepreneurial philanthropists are thinking about how they can help fix the problem. My nickname is the Rain Man. I would say that I'm an educator, that through the idea of teaching water issues and conservation, I became a specialist in rain harvesting. I developed this system that in some schools can actually save during the winter about 90% of the school water consumption during the winter, during the rainy season and became a fantastic educational tool for the kids to, to really understand better about water, rain, environment, and, and global issues. So the idea was, that first of all, we collect all the water we possibly could as fast as, as we could during the rain, because rain events come, you have one day or a few hours of rain, you want to collect any possible drop you could collect. And then you let the, the dirt or the suspended material to settle down, you flush it out from the special design tanks that nobody else in the world thought about before. And once you do that, you can get clean water enough without any further filtration to flush the toilets. Nobody else make those settling tanks but Israel. When I contacted by the UC San Diego Ready School of Management, uh, I was glad to collaborate with them and, uh, and disseminate the idea that I developed in Israel. During the winter, will install three schools in the city of San Diego in the exact same model that we have here. And the idea is that San Diego will be the first city in America to be using uh, rainwater to flush toilets to, for indoor use, which is a, almost a revolutionary idea. Between education, clean technology, the use of desalination in California, hopefully this relationship between Israel and California will be strengthened. In looking at solutions for its problems, California is casting a wide net 
But what it realizes is, is that the Israel experience offers lots of guidance for them. Everything from how people should be living in their homes, to how agriculture could be reformed, to how they could change the school curriculum. And they look to Israel for ideas and solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President, CEO, and owner of Conaway Ranch, Kiriakos Sekopoulos. Thank you. I am honored to be here today. I feel close to APAC, even though this is my first policy conference. You see, my father was dear friends with APAC board member Mort Friedman, whose memory, yes, whose memory I know continues to be a comfort to his family and an inspiration to our community in Sacramento, California, and to all those here today who remember his leadership. For me and my family, Israel, has always been a very special place. Not only as the land of the Bible, but as the home of my beloved Aunt Maria, who lives in Jerusalem near the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. So you can imagine that it was even more meaningful for us to be able to look to experts in Israel, like Dr. Elan Adar. Elan, Thank you for your guidance and consultation as we searched for ways to cope with California's water crisis. The devastating effects of drought aren't going away anytime soon. And that is why Israel's experience and Israel's friendship matters. That's also why initiatives like the Strategic Partnership Act which you all worked with Congress to pass last year, and by unanimous vote, I might add, provide such an important way to help step up cooperation between America and Israel in critical areas like water. So to you all as well, I say thank you.